This is the home of our future apiary. We're making it 500 pound bear proof. We're using cedar bolts and cattle panels to do that. Right by your knee, right away, because there's a bend right there. Yeah. <laughs> Can't see nothing behind this. There. Right, this finishes the excavator portion of the apiary. What we've done is we first we compacted some clay for the floor and it's about two feet thick. We sunk these bolts in 42 plus inches deep. Then we buried cattle panel down about 18 inches. And on the outside of the cattle panel, we buried big rocks. And then we put topsoil over the whole front here for a planting surface. And I plan to plant some type of a bush that has large thorns. 
What we have left to do, other than the planting, is the paddle panel, the rest of the walls, and the roof. And then because I like the deer hunt, I'm going to build a deer blind on top of it. So we make multiple uses of it. Now what we need to do is get some beehives in here next year after it's finished and test it on a 500 pound bear. And I'm going to put some deer cameras up, you know, those that uh, motion detection, it detects motion, turns the camera on, records the event. That would be neat if we can get a big bear in here trying to get in here and hopefully fail it. That's it for this portion of the building process. I'm not doing any measurements, I'm just winging it, and if it doesn't fit just quite right, there's always a chainsaw. With the author of Prisoners of Hope, Lyndon B. Johnson, The Great Society, and the Limits of Liberty.
Originally the door was going to be in the center of the apiary, but that doesn't make sense for me to go ahead and cut that apart. That's a full, full hog panel. And I'd be cutting the hog panel apart. So the door is going to be in the front there. That just makes the most sense because it's a little short right there. I'm going to need two more cattle panels, one right down the center, uh, it's not wide enough, the panels aren't wide enough to cover the whole 10 feet uh, for whatever reason. Maybe my 10 foot ruler is uh, measuring 11 feet, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> I guess that's what happens when you wing it. So, uh, but that's okay, I got a lot more, I bought the whole works for 100 bucks so it isn't like I'm spending a lot of money or anything. And since I'm going to put beehives here and there are a lot of bears in the area, it's better to be more secure than not because those bears can really tear a lot, a lot apart. They're powerful. So having extra isn't going to hurt any. Might be helpful. So I'm going to go get those panels. So that's it for now. I ran out of fencing nails. Now what I plan to do is get wire and I'm going to wire all the joints between the hog panels and then wire around the bolts as well. So once I get that all done, I don't see how a bear can get it, but I guess you never know. Bears are pretty powerful. But we're going to try it, see what happens. So uh, next time I come up, I'll probably have beehives and uh, we'll finish the rest of this. Alright, thanks for watching.